Welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. The video we bring to you today is a wiring tutorial for connecting the SkyDroid G20 to the CUAVX7 Plus flight controller. The video is divided into three parts. What products will be used in this test? How to wire them? How to present the connection? What products will be used in this test? The products used for this wiring are SkyDroid G20 and CUAVX7 Plus flight controller. The cables used in this connection are Telum 1 Plus SBUS cable, X7 Plus power cable, and G20 receiver power cable. How to wire them? First, connect the G20 data transmission interface and SBUS output interface to the flight controller's Telum 1 port and RC port, respectively. The G20 connector is GH1.255 pin. The flight controller's Telum 1 connector is GH1.256 pin. and the flight controller's RC port is a 2.543 pin DuPont header. Then connect the power module to the X7 Plus flight controller to supply power. and connect the power cable to the G20 receiver to supply power. How to present the connection. When using the G20 controller for the first time, pairing is required. Press and hold the pairing button on the receiver until the blue light flashes quickly, then release it. Open the device assistant on the remote controller. Click on pairing start pairing, confirm pairing and wait for the pairing success display. After successful pairing, the receiver's indicator light will be solid blue and the remote controller's pairing indicator light will be solid green. Then click on Advanced Options, enter the password, 999 and click on Set Baud Rate. Since the baud rate for the X7 Plus flight controller's Telum 1 port is 57,600, there's no need to change it. If using another port, make sure to set the baud rate to be consistent. After setting the baud rate, enter Fly GCS, click on the top left corner, click on Switch Connection and choose the G20 kit to connect. A green light on the top left corner indicates successful connection.
click the top right corner to disconnect. Download the dedicated QGC version for the G20, and after entering QGC you can connect directly. Rotate the flight controller and you'll see the flight controller's attitude in the ground station moving accordingly. Click the top left corner and enter settings to view the flight controller's parameters. This concludes the test for today. Thank you for watching. To learn more please follow the World Drone Market Channel. See you in the next video.